how did all this come to be? Well, I mostly blame Dave. It's his fault. Yeah, it's not his fault. fault. Mm -hmm. um, the Dave, instigator. You know, uh, apparently we talked about this years ago, but I don't remember that really. Well, John played on a Foo Fighters record in 2005. We did a double album called In Your Honor, and one of the discs was a rock disc, and then the, and the other disc uh, was sort of acoustic based music. And, you know, I grew up listening to to John and was a huge fan and we had a couple songs that I thought, man, I, I'd, it'd be great if John Paul Jones could come and play piano or mandolin or mellotron on some of this stuff. So that's where we met and Josh and I have known each other. I met Josh in 1992 when he was in his band Caius. So and we, since we since we've known each other, we were always looking for opportunities to do something together. You know, um, it's one of the great luxuries of being a musician is to make real friends and then try to find a situation you can do stuff together. Having grown up listening to you and having jammed with you, it's like I had no question. There was no question in my mind that it was going to work. John, you've collaborated with a lot of different people and a lot of different bands over yeah. the years. How, how does, does, does this collaboration <laughs> feel to you? And be honest. It's you know. weird. No, no, it's, it's great. It's great. They're... Uh, they're people. I mean, I didn't grow up listening to them, but I've been became more aware, you know, because that would have been kind of difficult. Yeah. Um, but there's always time. I think, yeah, yeah. We do it in reverse. Yeah. No, I uh, I became aware of them much later. I remember that's yeah. what you said when we first started talking about jamming. You're like, dude, man, I got this new thing. I wanna I wanna reinvent the blues. <laughs> I was like, okay, let me call John Paul Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, don't.